Hey yo, <coughs> what's up? Today we're going to talk about this catch a mouse trap, catch and release mouse trap. This is what they call a humane mouse trap. So you're going to catch the mouse alive, <coughs> and then you have to release him somewhere, or maybe put him in a uh, aquarium, like a, keep him as a pet. But I guess I'll tell you as we go on a little story. So anyway, this is the catch a catch and release mouse trap. Safe around children and pets. Effective and easy to use, and reusable. All true. Now, I'm only showing you this after we caught th uh, three or four mice with it. Okay, they all got released back into the wild. None of them died in the trap. Okay. So this, this here is the trap. Now mind you, this is used. I just put it back in the bag. Anyway, the uh, premise of this trap is we're going to put some bait in this piece that the mouse can never get to anyway. They could just smell it through the holes. And then you put this back on here. Then you fold this down like that until it clicks and now the trap is set so what happens is when the mouse goes in there and steps on that it triggers the flap and it gets caught in there does it work? yes it works I caught four mice with these I had bought three or four of them <clears throat> the first mouse we kept it in an aquarium he uh, had a little hiding place, and we never saw him. His main goal was to try to get out of that aquarium at all costs. Uh, we finally got rid of him after never seeing him. Only hear, we could only hear him, and then if you went to look at him, he disappeared. So it was, he was pretty uh, strange mouse. The other three, I let them all go in a park. You know. When I caught them, as soon as I caught them, I took them right to the park and let them go far away from the house. And they ran off, and I'm sure they found a hole or somewhere to go. I'm sure they'll find something to eat, and I'm sure they're much happier. As, you know, that uh, one that was in the aquarium, he ran away like crazy when he was released. So to release them, well, let me just show you how to trap. When I used it, I put food in here, but I also put a little bit on the end here. Just a little bit, because you don't want to make it too heavy, because this is a really light trigger. And you don't want to, the trap to go off before the mouse gets in there. So just put a little dab of peanut butter or a little piece of cheese here, not heavy. So, see, you see how light it is? See, I hardly touched it, and it tripped. So, you want to be careful how much stuff you put on the inside here. Remember, he's never supposed to really get to the food, so in here works. I'd like to put a little taste on the here, on the edge here, too, that he could see. <clears throat> so when you finally catch them, take him to the park. You know, this is already tripped. He's stuck in there. All you're going to do is rip this open and fling him out, and they go running across the grass, wherever you let them go. So it's really is a humane way to let them go, you know, especially if your your uh, better half doesn't want you want to see them dead and you know, doesn't want to know. So you just take them out and you release them. No big deal. And so I just want to say that it works. I like it. And after we used it, well, we live in row houses and uh, these were coming from the neighbor's house. So I'm thinking the neighbors might have put some poison down and we found a couple dead ones. And then we didn't find any more after that. So that's that. So even if you're trying to be humane, your neighbor might not be. So if you do catch them, take them far away. At least the four I caught are saved. Right? So anyway, <clears throat> subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave some comments below. I'd love to hear about it. If 
you have any questions, ask in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer any questions. I try to answer all my comments. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one.